Young Jimmy lived just down the road, about a block or two from us. And the pride and joy of Jimmy's life was a dog that he called Snuff. Just what this canine's breeding was, was anybody's guess. But of all the friends that this kid had, he loved that dog the best. Young Jim would go off to school each day, along with all his mates. And when school came out, old Snuff would be there, just waiting at the gate. Every weekend they'd go fishing down at the water hole. Old Snuff would carry the can of worms and Jim the fishing pole. Young Jimmy passed beside our home one day with old Snuff, of course, in tow. And the young lad passed by our front gate, just dropped by to say hello. He said, you know, if I lost Snuff, I just don't know what I'd do. There's nothing on earth could take his place. I could see he meant it too. Then came the day I'll not forget, if I lived a hundred years. Young Jimmy stood on our front steps with his face all streaked with tears. Old Snuff was cradled in his arms. Jim stroked his shaggy head. And I knew without a second glance that his faithful friend was dead. Someone had thrown a poison bait into Jimmy's yard that day. Snuff cradled in his master's arms and painfully passed away. For those who throw those poison baits, I dedicate this verse. Without a doubt, they'd surely be the lowest form of life on earth. No more will Jimmy and his dog wander down our street again. Some sad, sadistic, heartless scum took the life of this child's friend. Yet to those who throw those poison baits, I dedicate this verse. Without a doubt, they'd surely be the lowest scum on earth.